Making money with shares, Vince Stanzioni gives some top tips. Fed up of picking the wrong shares? Then here are a few tips from making money from financial spread trading that can get you on the right track. Vince says, number one, buy strength, sell weakness. Everyone likes a bargain, it's human nature. But here's the truth you don't make money from buying bargains. Cheap stocks often appear to be bargains after a large drop, but they often continue to fall. Buy breakouts and sell them higher. Sell shares that are breaking down. Never let anyone tell you they're cheap and can't go any lower. Number two, trade active stocks. Many newcomers don't realize that while you have thousands of companies quoted on the stock market, both in the UK and US, most of these stocks don't move much. If you look at the daily volume of shares traded on many companies, you'll see that nothing has been traded. Always trade active shares with volume and sectors that are active or trading well. Spreads are the tightest on the most active shares such as Vodafone, BP, Unilever, BT and GlaxoSmithKline. By using filters on a website like Sharescope.com, you can list only shares that are active. For example, those that have moved up or down by 3%. You can also list all companies that are 20 days or less from their all-time lows or highs. Number three, look at shares as if they're people. Stocks often act like people. Each has its own personality. What's more, a stock can change from one to another quickly. Like people, stocks can be steady, predictable plodders, or aggressive and unpredictable. Charts and moving averages can help you spot the personalities which you can trade. Number four, trade the trend. Don't try to be smart and pick the tops or bottoms, just trade with the trend. Of course, the trend will never last forever, but by using a trailing stop, you can lock in profits along the way. Number five, add to winning trades, never add to a losing trade. You'll sometimes hear so-called experts advocate averaging down. Don't listen, never add to a losing trade. Instead, add to winning trades. If you buy one pound and the stock goes to one pound 50, buy some more. For long-term investments or five to 10 years, buying units on a monthly average price may make sense, but never average down shorter term trades. Number six. If the trade is wrong, cut it. Your first loss is normally the smallest. If you are expecting something to happen and it doesn't, simply cut it. Also, if you have a stop set and the share is heading towards it, don't move your stop unless you have a really good reason to. For example, if you start with £1,000 and you lose 20%, you're left with £800. You now need to make 25% to get back to £1,000. If you let a trade move 50% against you, you'll now need to gain 100% to get back to 1,000. Number seven, if you can't see a trend, then don't trade. Markets and shares don't always trend. In many cases, a share could consolidate for weeks, months, and years. Vince Stanzioni likes to trade trends, and if something is not trending, he recommends walking away. Come back when it starts to trend. Number eight, let the winners run. For many, holding a winning trade is as painful as holding a losing one. The only way you can survive is to let winners run more than you let losers run. If you have a plant in your garden and it's growing well and strong, you don't dig it up and kill it, so don't do the same with your healthy trades. The majority of traders do exactly this. As a broker, Vince Stanzioni saw it all the time. He says clients often wanted him to sell their winning stocks and keep their losing stocks. Use a trailing stop to lock in profits. If you really find it hard to let a winning trade run, then part close the trade and run the rest. To learn everything you need to know about trading successfully, go to www.thespreadtrader.com. You can apply Vince Stanzioni's proven strategies in less than 30 minutes a day. Go to thespreadtrader.com to get started.